Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by Angpro Training from Angpro Technologies. So friends, in this class I will be teaching you the rotations in AVL tree. So please go and watch our previous videos on AVL tree, then only you will be able to understand uh, the lesson that I am going to teach in this class. Right. So first let me explain you what is rotation in AVL tree. We use rotation operations to make the tree balanced whenever the tree is becoming imbalanced due to any operation like insertion and deletion. Right. So in the last class we have learned that what is the balanced tree and what is unbalanced tree. Uh, when you go on inserting the new nodes in the binary search tree, it may, be, uh, it may become imbalanced. Imbalanced means there won't be nodes such that having the, having the balance factor 0, minus 1 or 1. If you don't know all that, please go and watch our previous video. Right? And ro rotation is the process of moving the nodes to either left or right to make tree balanced. So let us do this practically and we'll understand it better. So here it is, we are given a uh, task to insert these three nodes into the AVL tree, right? So first starting from 30, let's insert this and uh, next 20 goes into the tree. So 20 is less than 30. So obviously it goes to the left of the tree, right? So let us join this. Okay, so now 20 has been inserted. So once you insert the node into the AVL tree, so don't forget to check the balance factor of each node. So what is the balance factor of this node? So the balance factor of 20 is 0 because it has got 0 left subtree and 0 right subtree. So 0 minus 0 is 0. So what is the balance factor of this node 30? It has got 1 in the left but 0 on the right. So 1 minus 0 is 1. So the balance factor is 1 for this node. Okay. So let's go and insert this node. So it is less than 30. Obviously it goes left of the tree. Uh, less than 20. So it goes left of the 20. Right. Let us join that. Okay. So this also has been inserted. Now let me check the balance factor once again. Whenever you insert the new node, don't forget to check the balance factor of the new node and its ancestor nodes. Only its ancestor nodes, right? So it is 0, obviously it is 0. Now what is the balance factor of this node? Balance factor of this node is 1 minus 0 because there is 0 nodes on the right of the tree. So 1 minus 0 is 1. So what is the balance factor of 30? So there are 2 nodes on the left. 0 on the right. 2 minus 0 is 2. So now, so the balance factor has been exceeded. It should be 1 minus 1 or 0. It lies between minus 1 and 1, but it is 2. Now it's time to rotate the nodes. So how to rotate the nodes? Whenever you insert a node, so you will get the balance factor disturbed in some nodes, right? Please identify that node, which is the nearest ancestor of the newly inserted node whose balance factor has been exceeded. So this node has got the balance factor exceeded the limit. So this is the nearest node of the newly inserted node. So let us call this node A. Right? And the next node B. So this is just a naming convention. Just call this uh, node A and the node and the next node as B. Right? So you simply call those nodes A and B. Now the next rule is make a child of b so just bring this and make the child of b that's it you are done now no need to add a and b so just check so 30 is bigger than 20 so obviously it goes right of the right of 20 so it goes on the right of 20 and 10 remains on the left of 20 so it is now well balanced right so now check again, clarify the balance factor. So it has got a 0 and it's also 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0, right? Now it is successfully balanced. And this is called LL rotation because node is inserted in the left subtree of left subtree of the node A, right? If you insert a node in the left subtree of the left subtree of A, you need to 
perform the LL rotation that is left of left rotation in that case make A child of B okay so this is the second type of case so start from 10 insert into the tree and now 20 so before that the balance factor of 10 is 0 okay because it has got 0 left and 0 right subtrees now insert 20 so 20 is bigger than 10 so obviously it goes on the right of 10 let me connect these two yes now so it has been connected now check the balance factor so obviously when you insert the node uh, it has got 0 as the balance factor you need to check only the balance factor of its ancestor node so what is the balance factor of its ancestor node that is 10 so it has got 0 left tree left subtree and 1 on the right subtree right so 0 minus 1 is minus 1 so still it satisfy the balance factor no need to um, make changes so 30 is bigger than 10 30 is bigger than 20 so it comes here so once you insert the new node you all you have to need to check is the balance factor of its ancestor node so 20 what is the balance factor of 20 so it has got 0 left and 1 on the right so 0 minus 1 is minus 1 that is fine but what about this it has got 0 on the left but 2 on the right 0 minus 2 is minus 2 so now the balance factor has been exceeded it should be minus 1 or 0 or 1 but it is minus 2 in this case what we have to do so call the nearest ancestor of the newly inserted node which has which has got balance factor exceeded that means let me call this node as A and the next immediate node as B now make A a child of B so now we successfully made the nodes to rotate and now it's been perfectly balanced and it's called A well tree so 10 is lesser than 20 it went on left of the 20 and 30 is more than 20 and it got on the right of the 20 so all, a balance factor of all these three nodes are 0 so this is called RR rotation uh, you have to perform RR rotation when node is inserted in the right subtree of the right subtree of node A. In that case, make A child of B. So this rule remains same for LL rotation and RR rotation. Now let me explain the third type of rotation. So first let me in insert the node 10 and now 30. 30 is bigger than 10 so it goes on the right of 10 let me connect these two now check for the balance factor the balance factor of this node is 0 and the balance factor of this node is 0 minus 1 that is minus 1 because 0 on the left and 1 on the right right 0 minus 1 is minus 1 and now 20 so 20 is bigger than 10 on the right it is smaller than 30 on the left so it comes here I hope you guessed it what type of rotation is this right so let me again revise the uh, balance factors the balance factor of 30 is 1 on the left 0 on the right 1 minus 0 is 1 and the balance factor of 10 0 on the left 2 on the right 0 minus 2 that is minus 2 now it has been disturbed so once it has been disturbed so you have to make it balanced right so you have to make the rotations so how to make the rotation now the new node has been inserted on the right of 10 right on the left of 30 left so this is called as RL rotation now we have to perform the RL rotation before that call the node 10 as A because this is the nearest ancestor which has got uh, whose balance factor has been disturbed next call the next node as B and call the current node or the newly inserted node as C right so this is the rule just name them A B C now make A and B child of C right so bring 30 down of the 20 so how do you make 30 as child of 20 so 30 is bigger than 20 so obviously it comes on the right of 20 so can remove here and insert it down here so this has been inserted 
right? Now make 10 also as child of 20. So obviously it is less. So it comes on the left of 20. So connect this. So now it's been balanced. So rotation has been done. Now check the balance factor. 0, 0 and 0, right? So this is called RL rotation. You have to perform RL rotation when the node is inserted in the left subtree of right subtree of the node A. In that case, make A and B children of C. Let's look at the last type of rotation that is LR rotation. So, so here in this case, first insert 30. Okay. The balance factor of this is 0. Right. Now, 10. 10 is lesser than 30, it comes on the left of 30, right. So connect these two. Now check the balance factor again. The balance factor of this is 0, but the balance factor of 30 is 1 minus 0, 1. Now 20, 20 is lesser than 30, it goes on the left. 20 is bigger than 10, it goes on the right of 10, right. So now check the balance factor again, revise all, it is 0, it is 1, so 0 minus 1 is minus 1 because 0 on left, 1 on right and here it has got 2 uh, levels on the left but 0 on the right, so 2 minus 0 is 2. Now the balance factor of the node is disturbed, so let's make the rotation. The new node has been inserted on the left of this tree and on the right of this node. So you have to perform LR rotation. So before performing the LR rotation, let us call uh, the node, this node as A and this node B because you must call the node which has, uh, whose balance factor has been disturbed as A and the next node B and the current node C. Now the rule is make A, B children of C. So here it is, this has been done. So now rotation has been done. So 10 went on the left of 20 and 30 went on the right of 20. So this is called as LR rotation. Node is inserted on the right subtree of left subtree of A. And just make A, B children of C. So here is one exercise given. Construct an AVL tree uh, with all these nodes. Okay, so let's get into it. First, let me insert the node 10. Okay, this is done. and. Uh, uh, the balance factor of this node is still 0. Next, the node 20. It is bigger than 10, so it goes on the right of the tree. And now calculate... Okay, let me collect, connect it first. Now calculate uh, the balance factor of the node, which is ancestor. That is this, minus 1. Because 0 on the left, 1 on the right. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. And the node 30, it is bigger than 10 and bigger than 30. So here it is, right? First calculate the balance factors. It is 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 0 minus 2 is minus 2 here. So the balance factor has been disturbed for this node. Let me clarify with you that now we have to perform the RR rotation because the new node has been inserted on the right subtree of the right subtree of the node A. So this is node A and this node B. Now make A child of B. Right, so this will be now 0, right, yes, now this is the tree done. Next, the node 40, bigger than 20 and bigger than 30, so it goes on the right here. Now calculate the balance factor, it is 0, but here 0 minus 1 is minus 1, and this is 0, and 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So still no node has got the excess balance factor. Still it is working fine. Okay, now node 50. Bigger than 20, bigger than 30 and bigger than 40. Let's move this up. Okay. So let me calculate the balance factor. 0, minus 1. But here it has got minus 2. But here 0 minus 3 is minus 2 as well. Now this node has got the balance factor more than 1. 
more than minus 1 so I have to make the changes now again the RR rotation in this case the nearest ancestor of the newly created node is 30 make this uh, call this as A and make the child of B that is 30 and the balance factor for this node is now also 0 right the balance factor for this node is now 1 minus 2 minus 1 now all are perfectly aligned right next the node 60 bigger than 20 bigger than 40 bigger than 50 and it comes here and the balance factor for this is 0 and the balance factor for this node is uh, minus 1 and here 1 minus 2 is again minus 1 and the balance factor for this node is 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 so so the balance factor has been disturbed so call this as A and this as B now make this node as child of this so this comes here but 30 since 30 is also child of 40 when we compare 30 comes on the right of 20 so it should be here and now you can easily make this as now this will become the child of 40 right the balance factor is 0 and the balance factor for this is also 0 and this is minus 1 right okay now the 70 70 comes right here now it is 0 minus 1 and 0 minus 2 is minus 2 here it is 2 minus 3 is minus 1 right and the balance factor of this node has been disturbed so so now make this uh, now call this node as A and this node B and make this node child of this node right so bring this down here and this goes up here and now the balance factor is 0 0 and here also it is 0 because 2 minus 2 is 0 right so it is perfectly balanced now now the node 80 80 comes here and the balance factor is 0 this is minus 1 perfect this is 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 it is also perfect 1 minus 2 is minus 1 and here 2 minus 3 is minus 1 so the balance factor for this is also perfect and the node 90 so node 90 comes here all the way down here and the balance factor for this node is 0 but this is minus 1 and this is minus 2 the node has been the balance factor has been disturbed here 1 minus 3 so 1 minus 3 is minus 2 and here 2 minus 4 is minus 2 but first let me resolve this make the child make this as child of B that is it comes here and it goes up here right so now the balance factor is 0 and this is also 0 and the balance factor for this is minus 1 now because 1 minus 2 is minus 1 now 2 minus 3 is minus 1 right so now it is perfectly balanced now right you can check the balance factor of any node so you will find only 0 or 1 or minus 1 and every node is inserted at its correct position so this is how we can construct an AVL tree well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on YouTube like our page on Facebook Follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.